Hi, I'm J. Scott Camp. And I'm Paulina Chavez, and we are from North Oconee High School at CCLA in Region 3 of Georgia. We decided to create a website for our chapter, and we wanted to make sure the website had the most accurate and useful information we could have. To do this, we had to make sure we thoroughly researched so we could provide our audience with up-to-date, correct information. We first looked at the rubric and made a list of all the information we wanted to include so our website could be the best it could be. After doing so, we used resources like Georgia FCCLA website, National FCCLA website, our previous Star Event project, Promote and Publicize FCCLA, and our old chapter website, and of course, our advisor, Ms. Robertson. We also utilized our social media because it included everything we have done and awards we have received over the last few years, all dated. Researching was obviously very vital to our project as the point of the website is to help inform people about everything our chapter has done. To plan out how we wanted to go about creating our website, we first decided which order we wanted to do things. We started off with things that would be consistent and wouldn't need to be updated throughout the course of our project. We waited to do things like adding pictures and some of our events to the end of the project timeline to make sure everything stayed up to date. Since there are two of us, we also split up who took lead of which pages. For the most part, we both contributed to each page, but one of us took headway on that particular page by creating the outline and deciding how it would look. Throughout creating the website, we also made a list of different things we would need from different people. For example, we asked all the officers and star event participants which events they were doing. We also asked our advisor and co-presidents which awards our chapter has previously won. This is our homepage on when you can see pictures of different events we took part in, as well as access to all of our school social media feeds and information about who we are. This page also includes a way to contact us and the live visitor count. On this page, we included a calendar of events, which is a Google Calendar where you can find any event coming up or see any past event. You can also press on the calendar and subscribe so you are always reminded of different events our chapter has going on. Our next page is all about our officers. Here you can find our different officer names, pictures, and duties. A link at the top of the page takes you to where you can find each position's duties. Next, we have our facts page. This page first shows you different pictures from our facts classes we offer at our school. It also gives you more in-depth information about the different classes and what is included in each. Then we have awards and recognition. This page spotlights all of our chapter's awards from the last six years. It also has the last three years of star event competitors. Here's our membership page. On this page, you find information about benefits of being a member, information about our fall and spring recruitment week, a reminder account, sign up, and our membership form to sign up. This is our Star Event documentation page, which includes everything we need and all the links we need for our Star Event. Our Sponsors and Partners page gives a thank you to our different sponsors and gives a description of ways our sponsors have helped us. Next, we have our Program of Work. This page features all the different events our chapter has participated in on a local, state, and national level.
Lastly, we have our contact page. This page gives you the opportunity to reach out to our chapter directly through the contact box and additionally gives you the alternative way to reach out. The STAR event has had an impact on our chapter as well as anyone who is interested in learning more about FCCLA or FACTS. We provided a way for the public to learn about what our chapter is doing as well as the organization as a whole. This website can also provide a way for people to reach out to a chapter if they want to learn more about us or have any questions about what we do. Personally, before working on this project, I wasn't really sure how to go about creating a website. I had created them before, but not as complex and with as much detail as this one. For this project, we had to add little widgets and extras, like, for example, the connections to our social media pages that I had not previously had to do. And I learned more about our chapter and FCCLA as a whole. Even though this is my second year apart from this chapter, I learned more about our chapter's history and even current information about our chapter I didn't previously know. Like Jay said, I also learned how to go about creating a website. This project re related to facts and related to careers in many ways. For one, we had to research information about facts to create the website. On our website, we even had an About Facts tab for people to learn more about facts. Also, whether you take the career path of a teacher, nutritionist, or even a real est estate agent, you will most likely come across a time where you need to create a website so your students or customers can have a central place to learn about and gather information. All in all, we had an amazing time working on this project and through it we learned a lot. Thank you for your time.